Part three. Back to part three. Part three. Don't watch. Talking about my Aziaga. Um, if you saw us on YouTube, you saw a regular version because copyright every single legacy full and covers with another thing. If you were a patron or a membership, so probably YouTube should be opening up. Just go check that out. <laughs> and they just weren't. We were talking about the movie. We had to review it. <laughs> That's Fincher's movie, huh? <laughs> uh, what a movie so far. Wow. Urla. Hey, Urla, come on. Niara. Nita, na. Appa, da. Ippo samali kira pare. Adi ni vechcha per. Na inga appa ma vechcha per kekra. Ona ke dambi per la nyabu utle rukhe. Yam per nyabu utle rukhe la. Yar sunne nyabu utle na. Nyabu ondu urnu misha na the. Ippo solo matra. Ippo solo ma? When I see you tomorrow. Appa ma. Yappa ma. Hey. தெரியுது <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Wow indeed. Not I don't often get films that just leave you with a smile on your face. Yeah, and warmth in your um, heart. Um, right? Yeah. And obviously it was just so well done. Oh yeah. What is that? Platinum. Yeah. That's one of the best of the year easily. Um, I, it's gonna be, it's gonna be crazy at the end of the year when we do because I feel like most of it's actually at least currently filled up with Dhamma films, <laughs> like especially the back half They've of the been year. They've hitting six after six after six, man. Good lord! What if and it, and it just did cry? You cry? You, you uh, I got my emotions were were here for a lot of the film. Yeah, a lot of the film. Yeah, um, that whole phone conversation. Yeah, that was great. Um, Phenomenal job by both of them. Yeah, and just it. it Ah, be champions of film. Be champions of film so that movies like this, share it, spread the word. These are the kinds of movies that deserve the distribution mm -hmm. and to be seen. Because this is what this is what cinematic storytelling is all about. That's as elevative as it gets right there. Uh, beautiful, beautifully written. The score is off the charts. The oh, performances wow. were fabulous. I mean, talk about just being believable every moment. Beautiful storytelling. Yeah, I, I it, it's one. There's some movies where you, obviously the movies that you don't like, you're really aware of the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. it's dragging. Mm -hmm. Then there's other movies that you're you're aware of the time, but it doesn't bother you. And then there's movies like this where time stands still. Yeah, and it's you almost, don't want it to stop. Yeah, it's almost two forty. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah. That's uh you definitely have to be the, okay with a slow burn yeah. for sure but I don't think you notice the time. You don't. Great films transcend time. Yeah. They're like any moment that you share that's wonderful and happy where the illusion of time is gone and you suddenly it's like when you're when you're having a really we've had this recently with some friends who've come over mm. and you look at the clock and you realize holy crap we've been talking for 5 hours. Yeah. That's what this movie is. Yeah. Yeah. It's um, Sipram Kumar, writer, oh. director. Phenomenal. Par excellence. Wait, was he the director of Yeah, what? Yes. Oh, no wonder. <laughs> wow. No wonder. <laughs> okay, so he shouted out his own film in his film. I love it. Um, no wonder. This guy knows how to... Wow. <laughs> I'm and Johnny's going to be so excited. I have to make sure I, I write this down properly and remember it because... She, uh, you showed her 96. I right? showed her 96 last month. And it did what it should do. It blew her away. She had never watched Vijay Satapathy before. Mm. So she was blown away at how good he was. Yeah. And like most, she, you know, I keep telling her, because like most people in, in either in the North or even in, in Kolkata, 
uh, you're they're far more familiar with the Hindi mm -hmm. industry. They don't know the South. Yeah. And I keep telling her over and over and over and over again. And she was really reluctant at first because oftentimes she was exposed to stuff in the South that was just pure masala yeah, over yeah, the top yeah. ridiculousness. Yeah, yeah. And I kept telling her. So that was her first introduction to it. And she was floored yeah. at the writing, the acting, the universal messaging of it. And this is exactly, this is cut from the same cloth. At 96, and So yeah, so now anything C. Prem Kumar does or has done, I have to see. Um, have I we, just, I have to see. Genu. Got to put this have down. Have seen anything else of his? I don't know. The comp uh, composer Whoa. is Govind. Did the score for 96, I bet. 96 and... And Sur... Oh. No, that's the plane movie. No, it was at the boxing movie. That That's... Is that the boxing movie? No, that's the that's plane the movie. movie. That's the plane movie. So did he do the score for 96? Because that makes sense. Yes, oh, what that... <sighs> yeah, fantastic job, Govind Vishanta. Because... Um, the score was, I mean, the entire film was fantastic, but oh. the score was beautiful, haunting, brilliant. Um, I think that, that Kamal Hassan singing is, I mean, oh. I think there's a couple other songs that, yeah, I think you have like two of them in your playlist, I think, of the best of the year, but that, in terms of like a ballad, is probably the best of the year. The, yeah, like, yeah the, and it's there's then there's haunting. that other one. There's one in the Danush film, um, uh, which is more of a, I think, on your workout playlist, and then there's another one. From, I forget what film. It might have been from the uh, Adam uh, Girl. No, no, no. It was the one from the Plantain Kids with the tragedy. That's what it was from. On the bus. Yes, that from? other song that was heartbreaking. Yeah, but yes, then, yeah. I think there's another song I'm thinking of. Yes, but they've all been Tamil. Uh, <laughs> they have. What a year, man! Ha really, half a year. Because the beginning of the year, it was, there wasn't a ton, at least. that uh, I had a feeling, knowing that when we saw the trailer, knowing it was from the maker of 96. I don't think we even knew that. I and that the, But that trailer in and of itself. I don't even remember that. Just did a really good job of letting you know what you're going to be in for. Yeah. Um, just. Uh, this, is, this is one of my favorites of the year. Anywhere on yeah. Earth. Anywhere on Earth. It's a very different film and a very different... Um, story obviously but it has very similar vibes to planes trains and automobiles it does um that has the same kind of heart is the only thanksgiving movie there ever has been made by the way <laughs> if you've never seen that <laughs> it's john it's candy hysterical and, Steve Martin. and so, super touching so, like i said it's very different in terms of it's a comedy right you're gonna laugh right. your ass off because right. it's very funny right but there's so much fucking heart in that movie it is the it's it a, rips, such a touching movie it rips it at john candy uh it's basically like the um and the roles are almost reversed here um yeah john candy is the kind of extra going extroverted who loves life wild loves man everybody. and steve martin's the pessimist, pessimist quiet quiet guy <laughs> and obviously that that's a, a storyline that's you know, those big, aren't pillows <laughs> yeah that's been going on for millennia uh, that kind of story, obviously, because yeah. it's natural comedy that way. Right. Like, introverts, extroverts, right. very different kind of people. Right. But th the way it has so much heart, obviously this one is not a comedy, and it's very Tamil, which uh, I can only, I mean, it touched us. I can only imagine. Well, it did have some, it was, the front half had some pretty funny moments. Yeah. But the, uh, for Tamil people specifically, I bet it even, oh. Indian, but specifically Tamil well, people. I, I think, I think, for example, when they sing the songs. Yeah. And his ringtone on his phone. Yeah. There's going to be a lot of things in here. And just the way they know how well, it feels to have an ancestor at home. Exactly. The familial relations. We can sympathize with that. We cannot empathize with and that. And I can barely sympathize with that because I don't right. like most of my family. I just, and I, <laughs> I've only learned it by reason of knowing how much it means to Indrani and her family, which is the way it is for all Indians. So, yeah. Yeah. Most Americans who don't know that wouldn't wouldn't understand the magnitude yeah i mean it's about as it's it's as big a loss as like a parent losing a child yeah. i mean it is up there of catastrophic loss yeah and what a beautiful story i it's the film is summed up in that line when he says to him in trying to figure out in trying to remember you i've remembered myself yeah
He basically says something like that. It's such a simple movie. It's He goes there, and he doesn't know his name. And by the end, he finds out his name. That's essentially what happened in this movie. Yeah. <laughs> Two and a half hours. Obviously, there's a ton. You sure that, that that happened, but it really nothing did actually happen. I also love another message that's part of the film, which is all about perspective. In that, from his our his perspective, from, Marvin Schwami. Uh, 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 yeah, um, from his perspective, the catastrophe, legitimate catastrophe of losing the home. Yeah, and just giving up something he loved in the bike. Mm -hmm. From his perspective, that was a catastrophe. Mm -hmm. But how redeeming it is for him to see the other side of it and realize, wait a minute, as terrible as that was, if we hadn't gone through that loss, Potato wouldn't have gotten the bike. And Potato wouldn't have had the life he has. And he says that he owes everything in his life to this bike. But he wouldn't have gotten the bike if we hadn't gone through the loss. So yeah. in the end, for him, for Arvind Swami, it makes, it brings a full redemption for him of, wow, God really did work it together for good in a way. And now, in addition to that, because of that, it has blessed me because I'm reminded of who I used to be. Because he forgot who he was. He said, I used to be like this kid. That's a, it's a beautiful redemption story. Beautiful. I was terrified when he said, you're going to break my heart. When he's knocking on the door, I was terrified that, like, Potato got bit by a cobra and died. And we were going to, he was going to never hear him say his That's name. That's my actually one gripe. I yeah, would, you would like a, that no, is no, my no, kind no, of no, ending. No, 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 not that, not that he, uh, that they didn't leave it at the, the him knocking on the door. You would have liked that. I, I, as opposed to seeing him open it. No, because you need you needed to know he heard him. <laughs> you needed to know he heard him. I don't know. Yes. I, I love the not know. No. <laughs> I love that we know he heard him. I get it. It's supposed to be happy. Don't but, uh, you 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 don't ever write a fairy tale. <laughs> Because in your fairy tales, oh no, Prince My, Charming never gets the slipper on her foot. Well, if you if you actually read the original, Grimm's nah, yeah, fairy good tales, for you. They're uh, they're <laughs> very uh, dark. Sleeping Beauty never wakes up. Uh, well, in, like in um, Cinderella, they like cut off their feet to fit in the slippers. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's awesome. Um, but the performance of Arvind Swami, I know we haven't seen a lot, especially uh, of his, I don't know if he's doing current stuff. Or if like he took a break, uh, I don't well, know. Well, this is current. Yeah. Um, let's. But see. this, this uh, no, is, it looks like he, he did something in 2015. This is as good as it, this is as good as it gets. There's um, no. This is one of those mo like if these scenes were in an acting class. Yeah. I have no notes. Oh no, he's been he's been he's been it for been, anybody. I have no notes. He's been at it for a good while, but obviously, I think unless I'm wrong, we've seen Roja and we've seen Bombay. And I I think that's the extent of it. You guys, let me well, know if that's wrong. Um, he's a fantastic actor. Especially, I mean, he was a fantastic actor in Bombay, obviously, and in Roja, but obviously he's gotten much older now. He has such a a, a warmth and like a, 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 a without doing anything, <laughs> it looks his face looks caring. And I almost his 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 work is so believable that I'd love to ask him example when he was sitting on the bus with his backpack. I w I want to ask him. Was it important to you to make sure that you spoke with props and that you knew every item in that backpack that you had packed for the trip or that doesn't matter to you and you can make yourself believe the circumstances irrespective of the, the fullness of what you surrounded yourself with? Mm. He's that believable of an actor that his process, I, I could see and feel the entire history of this man and this, this, the character and who he was. I believed every relationship. I believed every moment. Um, there's, There were times I was so wrapped up in the performances and the story that I f stopped paying attention to. That is when, when you stop thinking about how beautiful cinematography is. And it was. And you just find yourself in the flow of the river and letting it take you. It doesn't get any better than that. 
Yeah. Um, and a gorgeous movie. Uh, Carthy as well, who we've seen. It's so good. In uh, quite a few things. Goth- uh, PS1 Kithy. was the last thing, wasn't it? PS1, PS1 and 2. PS1 and 2, Kithy, and we've seen him um, a couple other times as well. Always liked him. He's always, he's very, and this is. He's perfect in this role. This is a, might be one of his most impressive, because this is a role that could go wrong. Because you're supposed to be this outgoing. He could be, he could be annoying. Yeah. You, you could not like him. Yeah, and it could come off as your shtick. Right. If you don't play it authentically. Correct. Uh, it could come off as, oh, he's trying to look like he's this energetic, outgoing guy. Right. And since he's such an eccentric character. Uh, he brought a lot of heart to it. Yep. Um, I thought everybody in the entire cast did. Phenomenal casting. Um, who's that person outside of the temple? Yeah. Because I know we've seen her before. Yeah. Uh, extremely familiar. Might have been recently, actually. Um, but yeah, everybody um, in it did such a good job um, that it's 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 just a brilliant film. Yeah. Uh, absolutely one of the, I mean, God. Adamant Girl, this. Um, Lapa to Ladies. Lapa to Ladies. But then, um, what was the other Tamil one that, that we just saw? Well, why do I keep forgetting the name of the film with the plantain boys yep. and the yep, that one. thing falling yep, over? Yep, yep, That one. That's the one I'm trying to think of. I think there's another one. But then there's also like Danusha's film. Well, uh, from Earth. when did the one about the, the parking space come out? The last year. That was last that year. Was last but year. that that too we watched that this year. Yeah. And that's another one this year that is just a Tamil film that blew us away. Yeah. And I think there's uh, a couple others. And that's just like four or five. Hitting it out of the park. Tamil films um, that are just absolutely killing it. Uh, and once again, I don't know how the film did. I have, all I've heard is that it's like um, amazing. So I'm assuming it's doing well. Now um, that it's now that it's streaming, what platforms is it on? I'm not sure. All right. Well, I'll I'll be posting about it on Instagram. I'll look up what platforms because I want people to 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 know about and watch this. Yeah, movie. I'm not sure. So I think it's doing well, but like that goes to show, like, people want just good stories, man. Um, Always have, uh, and they want to like people. <laughs> this is what people want, right? Um, it's an original story. I'm sure the Hindi industry will. Remake this with Akshay someday, and <laughs> please don't. I love you, Akshay. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to rag I know. Akshay. Yeah, but please, please don't. <laughs> Just make your own style. Make like your this. own original films. Um, but uh, this is yeah, it's this easily one of the best of the year. Yeah. Um, fantastic all around. Um, uh, cinematography that you just talked about. Yeah, by, it was um, gorgeous. Uh. Mahandran Jairaju. And editing by mm. R. Govindaraj. And production design is Rajiv. Yeah, Rajivan. Um, all those superlative. Whole superlative. cast. That sweet little uncle who was so sad yes. that everybody wasn't staying was wonderful. The bride. Yes. What a beautiful moment that, that was. Scene? With the jewelry. Oh. And they just held up the cue and everybody was oh. watching at her feet. and um, So believable and beautiful. Like you said, this thing, that was like an hour into the movie and like nothing had happened. He had just yeah. gone there. Yeah. Like this movie, almost nothing happens <laughs> outside if he finally finds out this guy's name. Yeah. Other <laughs> than... such a simple story. It's Yeah. And all even at the very beginning when I mentioned... Complex emotions. The writing is so good. There was no exposition in the writing. Nobody was telling you what's going on. You picked up the information naturally as you're getting to eavesdrop on the conversations. Um... And there wasn't anything that was predictable. There wasn't anything that was done, it seemed, for dramatic effect. It just had this nat- natural, day in, day out, human beings living life and, and having realizations about things. Just perfect. Yeah. So it sucked and we hated it. Um, oh, platinum, platinum, platinum. There's been quite a few of those. There's been a few of those this year. Um, switched towards Deservedly back. so, yeah. Uh, I actually, Adam and Girl was platinum. Platinum. Correct. That... Banana the one? banana one was platinum. Platinum. Yep, this one's platinum. Uh, Lapa the ladies got. I don't know if it was gold or platinum. Um, I think I gave it certified gold. Maybe new, I gave it platinum. What did the one get? Gold. I think I gave that gold. Okay. Uh, wait a minute. Which Danush one? The uh, uh, with Parvati. No, that's not this year. 
I'm talking, oh, about, I'm talking, the talking about this year. This year's. Okay. The one where uh, the, the, the epic song is in it. And, yeah. Um, I think you gave it gold. I think I gave that gold, I, too. I I'd have to look at the list. Um, but I'll have soon, because we're approaching the end of the year, I'll, I'll have at the end of the year the number of platinums and which industries got the most platinums and things like that. But this is... I am excited to tell Indrani about this and say, hey, remember 96? The same writer-director and composer... Get ready for, you know, it's it, it. This this is like the other side of the coin. It's it's so similar, in that it's a guy going back to his place, and reluctant to experience things again. Um, and I love his shout out to his own film. I love the shout out to his own film. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, I'm, I'm wondering if some of the songs they were singing were like from Bombay or or or, or, Roja, or yeah. part of '96. Yeah, maybe uh, <laughs> it would be funny um, to give shout outs to like all these. <laughs> it's like meta, obviously. Yeah, we wouldn't know, obviously, unfortunately. But uh, I felt like I recognized one and of the songs. They were the singing. other thing that I love, aside from just the, the aesthetic beauty of the actual melodies and notes and orchestrations of the songs. I loved the choices where things might crescendo in the music and then just drop out to silence. There were so many moments. This was the perfect example of how not to overscore a film. The moments that deserved scoring got mm -hmm. them and the moments that deserved silence got silence. If you overscored this, it would be so annoying because so much of the thing that transpires yeah. are stories being told within the story and you're hanging on every word the way mm -hmm. you do when you're sitting around a fireplace and someone's telling a story that just captured your imagination. It's just yeah. great storytelling. Um, like I said, love, we, love, love. We hated it and it sucks. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Clip that. So good. Uh, fantastic piece of cinema there. Yeah. Uh, let us know what you thought about the movie. If you saw us on YouTube, you saw a very good aversion because of copyright reasons. Watch the film for yourself. Yeah. But if you'd like to see our full and cut reaction, you have our Patreon or kind of memberships. Upper link description below. Pin comment. So you go check that out. Let us know what our next Dhamma film should be. S.C. Prem Kumar. And uh, uh, Karthi. What you think is the best uh, film of the year so far. Yeah. Uh, this one. Obviously, uh, we've seen quite a few others. And obviously, there's films that have come out that we haven't seen yet as well. Uh, let us know this week. Let us know what our next watch along should be, down below or otherwise, and anything else we need to know, down below. Well, that'll make you cry. <laughs>